stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Pelup. Is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing! It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! The mill's going crazy! It's making too much flour! Run! Run! Run for your lives! Too fast! Play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben said no flying. But he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? No, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abcracker dibbly dibble, make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> It's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you! Oh, how did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, uh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm, anyway. Let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Nanny, you said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. What's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <coughs>
The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum? Why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> your Majesty, thank you so much for your help. Oh, that's all right. I must say, you are looking most handsome today, Your Majesty. May I take your photograph? Of course. <laughs> uh, um, Your Majesty? Not now, Nanny Plum. I'm having my picture taken. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, stinky, stinky elf cheese! Come on, who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. Oh. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, 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 me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. I could do a magic spell to cheer the king up. Really? Will that work? Of course. But how do you cheer people up with magic? I'll show you. Abracadabra, abracadab, make Queen Thistle all cheered up. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Look how happy the queen is. <laughs> That? You were very happy. Yes, a little too happy. Maybe we won't use magic to cheer the king up. Perhaps we could cheer King Thistle up another way. How? My dad always likes talking about when he was a boy. Does he? So, if we ask your dad about when he was young, that might cheer him up. Good idea, Ben. <sighs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Dad? Hmm? What was it like when you were a boy? Why would you want to know that? We're interested. Yes. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. You must remember something. Well, <laughs> yes. When I was a boy... Were there dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Yes. 
dinosaurs with big pointy teeth. No! How old do you think I am? What was it like before the telephone was invented? Did you live in a cave, Daddy? No, I didn't. And that's quite enough questions about when I was young, thank you. But we're interested. Well, I'm not. Now, please leave me alone. Huh. All right. How many leaves? I have to use three magic brooms. Nanny, why do the leaves fall off the trees? Goodness knows. Autumn leaves are so pretty. Oh. They might look pretty to you, Violet, but it just means more work for me. This one looks just like the leaf in Ben's hat. It's an oak leaf. It must be from the elf tree. I don't know why elves have to live in a tree. I don't know why we have to have trees. Or autumn. Grumbling again, Nanny. You should be happy. Autumn is here. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going, Nanny? I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Well, the best at sweeping Hello, wise old owl. <gasps> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> You tricked me! <laughs> Tag! Holly's it! Can't catch me! I'm too fast! <laughs> oh, look! A squirrel! You can't trick me like that! No, Ben. There really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look! He's picking up an acorn. <laughs> you need a big dragon to stick the tail on. <laughs> ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Thistle, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Ah. Was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousey, mousey! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the ones in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! <laughs> Maybe if you're lucky, Nanny Plum, you'll see a penguin. <laughs> Violet, can I borrow your wand? OK. Oh, look, wise old elf, a penguin at the North Pole. Oh, very clever, Nanny Plum. What? 
Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. <laughs> Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? Do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm, they do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water. So, let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, blop. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Froggies. Polly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Go. Hello. <laughs> Hooray! Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr. Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. 
Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone. Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. 20 poached eggs, lots of toast, nine jars of jam, 40 sausages and 90 pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid breakfast. Thank you, Mr Gnome. Breakfast is one of the things gnomes know a lot about. <laughs> mm, yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, I almost forgot my balanced diet. I shouldn't be eating all this without also eating an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Back, Pippin. Back, Pippin. Back. There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. <laughs> Give Pippin something to eat, Nanny. Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. Ah! Why is the courtyard full of straw? It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> It's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot. Oh. oh, no. Pippin's run away. Oh, um, how sad. How terribly sad. Pippin, Pippin. We've lost. Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events. Pippin's gone. Gone forever. Wait, King Thistle. I can get your hamster back. Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. And now for pudding! Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly jelly! What's he doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Whoa! Jelly blood! What's happening? Nanny Plum has flooded the sea of tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But the aliens jelly. like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum, I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. 
no water in the sea, and we can't eat food. Our magic one. Sing, sang, sing, easy. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zig, zag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So... You don't chase elves or fairies anymore, then? Oh, no. I just... Look, 
Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That. Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? No. Wow, it's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C, neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh. Look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says... Little star, we ask you to make our wishes all come true. Oh, it's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. Oh, I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We can ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. <laughs> My goodness. Mum, Dad, are you astrophysicists? No, oh, we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, uh no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Little Whistle. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny all clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry. I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da, da, dum. Do da di da da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? Hey? We're here. Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby Dolly. Now, 
Where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> uh. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look, it says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who were you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. <laughs> what a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs> I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> Jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly! Jelly! A little bit more! <laughs> Nanny! They all want jelly! Goodness me! We'll be here all day! I just have to make a lot more! No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum! More! 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 Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! Jerry I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> the piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Uh, Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. 
I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. <laughs> but what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray for Lucy. And hooray for the little fairies. And elves. Hooray! We need to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We need to the big farm to see some... What? No fish? But I can magic up some fish fingers. Yum, yum. I like fish fingers. No, no. I want fresh fish. Fresh from the lake with chips. I know. Ben's dad has a fishing boat. Then we shall go and see Ben's dad. It's time we put the boat away for the winter, Ben. I'm pleased Bunty has made it through the summer with no accidents. What kind of accidents? The kind where the boat gets... Eaten. Eaten? Yes. Have I never told you the story of Big Bad Barry, the fish? No. It was a dark and stormy night. I was sailing in my favourite boat when suddenly... A fish! A fish, Mr Elf! What's that? I want a fish for dinner with chips. Oh. So we'd like you to take us out on the lake to catch one. I was just putting Bunty away for the winter. Who's Bunty? My boat. Well, one more trip won't do any harm, will it? I'd rather not. Um, she might get wet. Mr Elf, your king commands you. OK, climb aboard. <laughs> You'll have to leave your wands here. Magic isn't allowed on elf boats. And, and where else? <laughs> Let's get going. I'll do the steering. Hang on a minute. You might be king on land, Your Majesty, but on this boat, I'm the captain, so I'm in charge. All right, captain, as long as I get a fish. Polly and Ben, wind the engine. Aye, aye, captain. King Thistle, take the wheel. Okie dokie, captain. First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. Quick! 
Gaston's coming. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> We've come to cheer you up. We don't like it when you're sad. Thank you. We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. What's he saying, Nanny? Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <laughs> well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. Gaston! <laughs> Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadu, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben elf! <laughs> <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben! You're my very best friend, and you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly-dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da Shh! There's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> I bother! My invisible spell has worn off! That's all right! We're nearly there! No one will see us now! Hello, Ben! Hello, Princess Holly! Uh. Hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes, elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. You, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben, and thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum, you look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no. I've learnt it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Sorry, Gaston. 
or ladybirds. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Oh. Custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy? Do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun! Oh, OK. What do I do? Just hit the ball through the little windmill. And into the hole! <laughs> Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please! Hmm, I do know a spell for... Magic jelly? <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right. Too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong? Silly Ben! Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles! I love making sandcastles. Hmm, what's a spell for sandcastles? Holly, you don't need a spell to make sandcastles. <coughs> Are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But, Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice cream's for everyone. Ooh. Thank you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! <laughs> <sighs> we'll 
will soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, figgity, figgity, stop! 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 For you! That's better! Um, ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! <gasps> Goodness me! <sighs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instrument sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. Delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. <laughs> I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instrument sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr. Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. Delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. <laughs> I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> That's 
The Cockerel Crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? Mm. Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. Ugh. And here's your crown. All done. Ugh. Mornings are such hard work. Ugh. Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> One. 